Hi guys, I'm Jalen and welcome back to my channel. So today for Vlogtober, I'm going to do something really hopeful, like something I thought you guys could find useful. When I first started my small business, like the most common question that I get asked is who does my graphics for my Instagram page and my packaging and my business cards. So I do all my own graphics and I want to teach you how you can make your own graphics too, starting with the business card. It's essential. You need it for your small business. Why not know how to make one yourself? So let's just get into it. So I started with a blank page and then I hopped in and just added some text and I've already did that off camera and now I'm just looking for elements. Those are little picture art clips that you can add to your graphic. That Some of them are free. It depends on which one you pick in Canva. Right now I have Canva Pro so I have access to all of them and you guys just see me taking the element and placing it around the wording. Since I sent it in the back, sometimes this is one thing I don't like about Canva. It's hard to grab stuff in the back sometimes. But I'm just placing it, trying to see where I want it, and then I'm going to change like how visible it is, the opacity of the element, so it's a little bit more blurred out than the rest. So after I have one side figured out, I move on to the next side by just copying and pasting the text on the first side for Sudsy's cleaning service and just putting down text boxes for the contact information. This one I designed to have like a picture of whichever cleaning specialist gives it to the customer, but um, other ones you could design them differently. There's also a bunch of templates online. I have a clip of some of the Canva templates in here so you guys could see if you're more comfortable using a template. I've gotten really comfortable with Canva. I've been using it since like 2017. So I'm more comfortable with just making my own stuff than waiting for a template. And this is just a really basic business card design. You guys can do whatever you want with your business card. You can even make a digital business card or you can make a card like that's animated say if you want to share it to your social media i'm just filling out random information that you would put on your business card just in case you need it and yeah Right here I wanted to like have a placeholder in case you someone wanted to add a picture what that will look like so let's pretend that's a picture of Janet Doe, the sanitation specialist at Sudsy's cleaning service and she wants me to know what she looks like and also I added a little logo just you know something cute and sweet to go with Sudsy's. I feel like those are always cute to have on your business card so yeah and then I'm gonna just download it I'm gonna download this one as a PNG file and save it to my computer. Also, I wanted to show you guys some of the Canva business card templates. They're really I do cute. most of my printing myself. So after I go from Canva, I download the JPEGs and then I go to the Avery site so I can set it up in the template. Then I print that myself at my home printer. For this one, I'm not gonna print it because I was supposed to show you guys an example but I'll show you guys how I set it up in Avery. It's super simple. This whole process takes less than five minutes, honestly. So here I am in the Avery template site. Canva ha does have its own way of printing a business card. I've never used it just because I use Avery stuff and I figured that it would be easier to use their site. But I'm just gonna upload the PNG and just size it up to fit their business card template. I'm gonna do it twice. One for the front, one for the back. really that simple guys so if they give you warnings if they feel like something's like out of the print zone it doesn't matter for this because it's a picture and it's all white so I ignored it and then you press continue anyway and it gives you what your card is gonna look like when printed out you can have them print it for you but I always print mine myself and get the PDF and just print them you could also take it to a local print shop. You could download the PDF and take it to a local print shop and print it that way. But it'd be, it's really that easy. This whole thing took like 10 minutes. 
and that's what your community will look like. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff.